everybody. Welcome back to a new video. I'm just gonna keep my right arm up like this because I don't want to risk hurting it. So. Shall we get into it? Hey guys, thank you for joining me. How goes it? I might do another, I do, might do another sticker stream for the tech art prompts. I think getting through some of them by drawing them smaller might help. We'll see. What's up dudes and dudettes? Welcome back to another week of art, I guess. I would say games, but uh, it might be a while. I'm sorry about that. What are you gonna do? <laughs> you know? Thank you, Thunder. This is for the prompt treehouse. And, uh, I made sure to have the... Originally, the Deviance Only sign was supposed to be up on the window, but I screwed up, so I made it a... I made it a curtain. As uh, my buddy Bob Ross always says, happy accidents. You know? I talk like we're best friends, but... He doesn't even know I exist, because he's, you know... Anyway. Trying to keep a positive mind. Trying to... work on, um, I'm just gonna keep going on like I always do. Because I'm dedicated. <laughs> Where's Nick? Is he here too? I might need to refresh because it says there's no viewers right now. <laughs> Sorry, it's the tree house, yeah. Exciting news, guys. I um, sent the clips to Nick and Thunder, and after talking about making a new channel trailer, I'm actually going to do it. Hurrah! Sorry, I'm trying to focus. It might be a little bit difficult to do that today. That's good. Good is good. 
Enya. What do you mean? Well, um, it's flaring up again, and I didn't ask. I didn't ask for pain pills, so I'm sort of just knuckling this. But that's okay. Gonna be an interesting thumbnail. <laughs> I'm okay. Well, relatively speaking. <laughs> in my arm, Dork, and it's already twisted. Trying not to move it. can color with one arm tied behind a brace. <laughs> Kidding, I'm not gonna I'm not gonna brag about that. It's not a good thing to brag about. Let's just some, do some chill vibes and color and hope for the best. I might have to do a couple more lava breaks than usual. We'll see. if I ever do get a hype train to call it a fire party? Or is that hashtag copyrighted? We'll see. I could call it a firework show. It's a firework show if we ever get super hype in here. that I can paint this week in place of the gaming streams. Um, one of them being a ceramic skull. I wanted to paint that around Halloween last year, but uh, it uh, ended up not doing it. And then we have a birdhouse, which is actually supposed to be a gift for Nick for his birthday, which I'm almost a whole month late for. Honestly, at this point, I should just give it to you when you come over, dork. I'll save on the stamps. <laughs> but 
yeah, the channel trailer I'm pretty excited about. I can't really edit it myself because I don't have editing software and you kind of need two hands for that. So I delegated it to Nick and Thunder and I trust them to come up with something awesome for my uh, channel trailer on YouTube, which I'm probably going to post the link to in case people want to follow both because I do export my gaming and art videos after the stream. So. It's always good to um, support your fellow creators. I try to shout out as many artists and gamers that I can. something inappropriate. I guess uh, for my fellow, I guess for my fellow uh, autistic slash ace people, well first of all happy asexual day for people who are like me and happy autism month, autism awareness month. Like me, I hope you have a decent month and it treats you well. Whew. See, this is what I meant, Thunder. This is the best I can do right now. This is my clap right now. Fingertips. stunts all the time and occasionally you know you get hurt when you do stuff like that what happened was uh, there's these little spinning things on the park the top half of them kind of looks like pac-man kind of like you you stand on them and you spin around and, and uh, it was raining so the so the, um, so it was wet, and I slipped and fell on my hand like this. And at first, I could play games fine, you know, I did that Rocket League stream last week pretty okay, but then, I guess the late reaction, a, a day or two later, I felt super massive pain. I wanted to go to the doctor's, but my dad gave me this. It's like a brace to hold your arm in place. It works a little bit, but I might still have to go and see a doctor. We'll see. You know what's funny, Thunder, is that despite me doing a whole bunch of extreme sports stuff, like skateboarding and boogie boarding and stuff, I didn't seriously sprain or injure my my body until after I after I turned 19. I had broken my ankle like a year or two ago, actually three years ago, I think. But now. Mm. 
And now with the arm. I don't know if it's fully broken. I think I might have just sprained it, but I can still move it around, but it's hurt. It hurts a lot. That's all. Other than that, I'm fine. It's just not recommended that I play Rocket League or play video games this week. We'll see. I apologize to my gaming fans in advance for not getting your gaming content. But, uh... I'm just grateful that I was... Uh, that I'm a lefty. Because if I was a right-handed person, you wouldn't get any content this week. I'd be like, I broke my arm, sorry. You don't have to be scared for me, Dork. I'm fine. Of course, maybe I'm the unreliable narrator. I'd probably have, like, a minor burn on my arm and say I'm fine. <laughs> Now normally I try to do try to do each and every branch and each and every leaf individually. But I decided to do like a cartoony style for the tree branches. Just sort of doing little clumps instead. I think it would save me coloring time. Thank you, Thunder. Category of the stream net? Does it say we're doing art? I hope it does. Actually, I was early today. Want a break from the ads? If you tap now to watch a short video, you'll receive 30 minutes of ad-free music. Eh. Damn it. Yes, really. If you tap now to watch a short video, you'll receive 30 minutes of... Can you become a new parent? 
Okay. This might be the last time I use Spotify on the stream due to a bunch of uh, copyright strikes attacking other channels. I might have to find something else after this. Because the ads are driving me crazy. And of course I make the unlock hand my right hand. So this is, this hurts a lot actually. But. I only have to do it every once in a while so it shouldn't be too bad. I don't wanna keep complaining about my arm. Let's just get to work. the stairs are set up makes no sense there should be like a place to stand there just imagine that there's another door on the other side <laughs> maybe I'll add like a little ladder or something and doing sheep because today was the uh, chill, sh chill and curiosity. I wanted to watch it but I missed it. I slept through it. They stream it super early for me. It's like 10 a.m. my time. Let's see. Three curls. I did those. Four senses. Five mystery. Okay. I think what I'm just gonna probably do is do like a just do like a figure like a like a silhouette figure and and have like RA9 in red letters with a question mark because I think that would be easier. That's the first thing that came to my head. So 
Like, who is RA9? I kind of see it as like a Spider-Verse thing where anyone can be RA9. You could be RA9. Hey. Okay. You could be RA9. <laughs> I know Thunder's gonna clip that now. a similar color because I can't sharpen the pencil right now. That's why I'm going a bit slower so that the lead can stay a little bit longer. Hold on just a little bit longer. I'm almost done with the wood part of the drawing and then I can put this down. Then we can find another shade of green to add more detail to the um, tree. Honestly, it might look flat right now, but with some color, it's going to look a lot different. Believe me, you'd be surprised what color can do to an undefined piece. Thank you to those who are waiting patiently for new content every week. I know it can be a lot to wait around, but I promise you that the reason why I do so many whips or I wait so long to do game content is so that I can give you guys as best as possible. As I can possibly do with my budget anyway. I hope to improve the channel in the future, but until then, thank you for supporting me no matter what. It means a lot. Whether you're a newcomer or you've been around since the channel launched, it means a lot to me. Thunder since you're both here. Um, I actually got a suggestion from someone within my family group to have two separate new mods to the um, to the channel. An art mod for the art streams and a gaming mod for the gaming streams in case you guys can't make it. I tend to agree. Um, we might start creating I noticed in other discords, um, the, the head streamer will have a Google, Google, uh, survey for people to fill out to become a mod. I filled one out two times before. And, uh, I think it might be an interesting way of doing it. I think the only questions I'd ask are, do you understand that we all chip in as a team? Like, we all 
make a decision together that even though I'm technically the leader, I let you guys decide sometimes too. Um, I'm adding this one because one person actually tried to take over the entire server once. And I'm not going to name that person because I don't want to vilify them or anything. Because I'm nice like that. Um, obviously number one would be don't don't block or ban us on, on Discord. <laughs> I don't know. I'll have to talk about it with Nick. I feel like this is a sensitive topic. And I know you guys are the best and I appreciate you both a lot. But I think we're gonna need some extra help every now and then. Probably not all the time. I don't know. So if you know anyone from another community who sometimes watches and is interested in being part of our team, I don't know. I'm always too afraid to ask that, you know? I'm always too afraid to ask for help. But I think I've gotten a little bit better about that. So we'll see. It might not be this year. It might be... It might take a while. I'm not all that picky when finding help. If I do ask for it, but... We'll see. I have to adjust my camera with my bad hand. Ouch. Okay. There we go. Weird. Something happened, guys. Did the bot go off? Did you guys see the stream elements bot? I don't think it went off. Hmm. I have to check that out. Sometimes... Sometimes that happens. with the camera today. Super blurry. for this today. I mean, I'm almost never in the mood for it, but usually I find it kind of cute.
Dogs, what are you gonna do? Anyway guys, um, I'm really excited for this piece cause, um, well you know, I've always wanted a treehouse. Didn't really have one as a kid. But I did stay at a science camp so I felt like, hmm, so this is what it's like to stay in a cabin. Sounds like fun. And the house I'm in right now is sort of foresty type cabin style sort of it's kind of nice sometimes so uh i'm probably gonna go over this with a probably blue or green at least the leaves i kind of made them um clumps as opposed to individual strands like i usually do because I feel like it will make the coloring process go by a lot faster. Thank you, Dork. And, um, try my best with what I got at the moment. So, unlike usual, where I sharpen my pencil, um, I'm probably just gonna find the next color up if the pencil gets dull. We'll see where we go from there. Oh. Yeah. Oh. Spider-Man. What page were we on? Oh, yeah. <laughs> Sorry. But like I said, um, probably won't be gaming stream this week for obvious reasons but I have a ceramic skull and a birdhouse that we can paint. I also have some canvases. I am decent at painting but it is not my main medium. My main medium is markers. So we'll see. I've seen some people use markers on canvases so maybe I could still use canvas. The canvas with my medium. We'll see. Sadly, there won't be any edits in PixArt, so no photo editing after the coloring. So if there's lighting, if there's a lighting issue with the coloring, I'm gonna have to wait until later to edit it. Hopefully, um... Everything, everything goes well, you know? Um, gaming-wise, I got Kill It With Fire, so... I need to kill some spiders after this heals. <laughs> I wanted to play Ghost this week, which is... Now I can't. Oh, well. But, um... Uh, hope 
guys are well. I'm doing my best to, um, you know, I'm just grateful that, uh, nature gave me, gave me the left hand gene instead. Me and Nick are actually both left-handed. So, that's kind of funny. Thank you all for dropping by today. You guys all have a, all having a chill day. And if we make a few mistakes here on the coloring, what does my buddy Bob Ross always say? Happy accidents. <laughs> I actually have a Bob Ross coloring book. Let's see. this yet it still has the price sticker on it I mostly just bought it for uh, display purposes you know be like hey I'm an artist here's the proof just kidding I don't know just something to decorate it was the cheaper option than getting a dead Ross uh, pop, pop, Funko Pop by the way Dork, in case you're having birthday gift ideas. Just saying. It might be fun to actually go over this one of these days. I want to I wanna take a picture of the pages, though. I don't want to ruin the book. Accidents happen, so I need to know about what happened. Since I already started, I wanted to just do like a black over here to show the shadow of the branches of the tree and then do. What do you think, Dork? Is this nighttime or daytime? I'm thinking based on how I colored it, it's probably daytime, but maybe we can fix it up a bit more. We could do pointillism and just have it be like galaxy. It's in space! <laughs> A landscape that is in horizontal mode, I know. Normally, you would do it like this, but... This is normally portrait mode. So is it a landscape or a portrait of a landscape? Whoa. Mind blown.
I think Pearl wants to say hi, everyone. You say hi to everyone. Hi. I can't pet you with my right hand right now. So I'm going to have to stop coloring and pet you. Girl. And so, uh, something different today, um, I posted the link to my stream instead of showing the starting soon screen. So, when I export this, there won't be any campfire in the beginning, sadly. I like dogs. So there's going to be a shadow on the stairs over here. It's a little too light. That's because this is a metallic. It's not a solid pencil. I can probably find one. Okay. Oh, damn it. That's what I was worried about if I only had one arm. <laughs> the dropping of pens might be more frequent today. We'll see. stream and I know since you're following me you most likely like Rocket League since it seems to be the main game on this channel I just was looking through all my old clips and noticed how much Rocket League there was considering I started clipping this year it's not all that surprising I didn't used to clip my streams and I'm glad that I do. It's good to look back on the bad and the, the epic wins and the epic fails with you guys. Hmm. No problem, Thunder. I'm always willing to give you a little boost since you helped me out. Anytime. Always eager to help out my friends. That goes for everyone. Don't be afraid to reach out on me in Discord. If we share a server, or if you want to join mine, I'm a really... I lurk most of the time, but I do try to talk every once in a while. Most of the time I don't talk because no one talks to me first. I wait for people to come to me first. I'm weird, I know. So this is for the deck art prompt, or April deck art prompt. Treehouse. This is a fairly standard design I was inspired by on Pinterest. You'd be surprised how crazy treehouses get. I'm like, okay, nope, not that one. <laughs> no, not that one. I wanted one with stairs, because I always thought having a a treehouse with stairs was cool a cool idea. Most of the time you see the ladder ones.
The railing's a little crooked. Oh well. Happy accidents. Maybe, uh. Maybe this is a DIY treehouse. And they. Hey, it's me, your favorite hoodie. And I need a wash. First, I woke up to a nice slobbery kiss from the dog. Then I got shoved in a smelly gym bag. Next, I washed the car with my face. Then you took my arms, tied them in a knot around your waist, and sat on me. For everything your clothes go wow. through, there's Tide Hygienic Clean. With deep cleaning power, it removes visible and invisible dirt. Okay. <laughs> Sorry. Anyway, let's continue. All right. So, looks pretty good so far. I probably add a little bit of brown up here in this dirt corner. Because the dirt, the little black lines there, they're just there to give me an indication of where to put the shadow. You know? I know, ad break. I got it. Anyway, the uh, dark lines there are just there to um, let me know as the artist saying, hey, here's where you're most likely going to put a uh, shadow. Sometimes I end up having to extend the shadow or make it smaller, but oftentimes I'm right on the money, which is good. And there we go. There's the tree's house itself. Now we just got to shade it a bit more. Um, now we have one of the older deck art logos that I sort of wish they kept, which is the heart with the gear. Do we want to make it wooden or do we want to make it the same colors that it was? I think part of it already has like a wood-like texture already, but... You know, it would just be all brown. Maybe like a light brown and a dark brown as opposed to yellow and blue. But we'll see. Now, we can we can come back to the shading of the cabin itself. Now, I'm probably going to use something. Darker or brighter, or whatever. Okay. Sky blue, yeah. So for the sky, we're going to go with sky blue, as uh, Nick pointed out. I'm just putting it in a corner so I can see all the nuances of the leaves and stuff. I think uh, the music's on an ad break at the moment, but uh, I'll bring the music back after I'm done shading this tree. It's almost there. It's almost 3D. I just have to pop it out a bit more by adding a little bit of a shadow under here. Careful, I don't want to peel it. There we go. Now, I don't know if I'm going to do it with all of it, just the top half of the tree. I don't know if I want to go full 3D. We'll see. Just right here, the um, stems are by the window. So, I want to make sure that I don't screw up. It's very easy to, uh, that's why it requires a steady hand to do marker.
I always explain it to to people as sort of painting your nails. Just sort of go through the edges and uh, avoid overdoing it or else you could create a line through your drawing and we don't want that. Okay. See if the music's back. Always do a little bit better with a little bit of tunage. Yeah. Oh, yeah. God damn it. Dork, I wish you were here to open my phone for me. <laughs> it's just, I uh, made my fingerprint hand my bad hand at the moment. So it just sort of. Uh, there you go. Oh. Oops. This one kind of looks like it's throwing up, or, uh, I might be showing my age a little bit here, but when I was a little kid, there would be, like, this, uh, show where, on Nickelodeon, where you get, like, spilled with green slime. <laughs> I don't know if it's still running. Nick would be an expert on all things Nickelodeon, right, Nick? Just kidding. I'm kidding. Sorry. get lighter as we go along so I'll probably pick a darker blue under the shadow there 
this even has any ink left in it. I think it does. If not, I have a whole... I have a whole barrel of markers to try. This is dying. Yeah, this one's dying. Aww. And now I'm reminded why I didn't go into the WNBA. <laughs> anyway. It didn't make it into my trash can. It almost did. It bounced off the rim. Oh well. My left hand's not my throwing hand anyway. So did you guys win in any matches? I mean I saw that you won the last one. I sort of went in and out trying to um, find something to eat. Okay, then I'm gonna pick a lighter blue for the rest of it. It will look good, trust me. think of Sherlock so far. I've rewatched the series at least four times. So good. I've actually, I actually grew up reading some of Sherlock. And now a message oh. from Puck Tissue. It's <laughs> that frick? time of year when spring's in full swing and explosions oh, sorry. of life make allergies Ouch. really zing. Each sniffle and swipe can be a moment of... Okay. Bad break. Anyway, as I was saying, uh, I watched, the, I read some of the Sherlock Holmes series, uh, adventures as a kid. Pretty complex language for an 11 year old, but I got it eventually. That's how I was able to make somewhat understand Shakespearean when we got to that part in English class. It was because of Sherlock Holmes. Okay. Hi! Hi Majava! How you doing? Did I say your name right? Sorry. How you been doing? Ouch. For some damn reason the camera is blurry again. Ah, oh, now that's a shame. I mean, I know the series is good as a TV show. Don't get me wrong. The TV show's great. But, uh, I don't know. There's just something about trying to figure out the puzzle through reading the adventure as intended, you know? I don't know. I just like how Arthur Doyle does, it describes things. I grew up on, ooh, I never actually read any Tarzan books. I probably should, huh? I watched the movie as a kid, but, you know, the Disney one. We all know how well 
Disney adopts fairy tales sometimes. <laughs> I read the original Cinderella in college and I was like, okay. <laughs> the stepmother gets her eyes gouged out by birds. <laughs> the end. Yeah. I actually, um, I actually bought the Witcher books. I'm more of a book reader. I mean, don't get me wrong. I love games, but I think I might like the Witcher better as a book, maybe. People keep saying, no, don't play the game, or yes, play the game. I've been getting some mixed, mixed, um, reviews. So... Everybody keeps saying that the books are way better, so. I watched the show, though, with Nick. We just got through finishing the first season. The second season hasn't come out yet, but. I might not be super impressed with his performance as Superman, but Henry Cavill is actually a pretty good actor. <laughs> Yeah. I just think, you know, there might be some nuances to reading the books first before starting the games. Yeah. Nick got me hooked on the song before I even freaking watched the show. And so I kind of wanted context of what he was singing about. I don't know. I like magic and fantasy. It's one of the reasons why I liked Once Upon a Time. I miss that show. Game of Thrones books ruin the t-shirt. Oh, ruined in a way where you'll where you're reading the books and you'll never watch the show. Oh, okay. I was about to say. <laughs> or man, the book series is so much better. Um. Yeah. I I watched Good Omens first before reading the book, but I love Neil Gaiman, and I know that he adapted his own... Well, he co-wrote the book with someone else, and so he was the one to adapt the, the Good Omens into a tea show. And so I've been reading the book, and the book so far is pretty... is a pretty good adaption. The T show so far is a good adaption of of Good Omens. So that's good. Same with Outlander. Outlander I feel like I'm kinda getting close to my Scottish heritage a little bit. I was born in America, but I can imagine what it'd be like to actually be born in the Mackenzie Castle at the Scottish lands. Yeah. I sort of wish that there's a sequel, but I know Neil Gaiman's probably gonna work on figuring out... Neil Gaiman wants a season two of Good Omens, but there's only one book, so... I don't know how they I Don't get me wrong, I love Crowley and the Xerophel. I want their adventures to continue, but I don't know where they'd go from here. I do know that a Sandman series is getting adapted into a into a show on Netflix and everybody outcried because Tom Ellis isn't playing Lucifer in that show. Like I like I love Um, I think Outlander is still good. Obviously, um, it obviously deals with a lot of sensitive subject matter. Sometimes. Um, but I still like the show. They're working on adopting the sixth book right now. 
When it's better that there isn't a second. Yeah. I don't know, though. Neil Gaiman's adapted episodes for for Doctor Who, and he's done and he's done comics, and he wrote stories for little kids like Coraline. He's a pretty diverse writer, so if I can trust anyone to adopt his property, you know, his own property and and expanding upon it, it's him. Yeah. So, like, I, I like Tom Ellis and stuff, but, uh, I don't think he has to be the soul, the soul devil in the Neil Gaiman verse. And I just find it funny that I mentioned Sherlock because Benedict Cumberbatch played the devil in, uh, Good Omens. I totally forgot he was in that, and then I see it on the, on the, on the credits, I was like, heh <laughs> Oh, yeah. Totally forgot about that. So I'm doing a monthly challenge for uh, Deck Art Month, which is... Uh, it's a community that both me and Thunder are in. And the prompt was a uh, treehouse. You know, it's kind of hard to, like, picture an expansion of a universe when there's only one book, but I've seen it done before. Ooh. I had, I had the opening thing, theme stuck in my head for, like, the longest time for Fist of the North Star. It's catchy as hell. I had it on my on my dance playlist for a while. God damn it, this is what I was talking about. There's a line through the through the deviants now. Oh well. Don't worry guys, I'll bring the music back in just a second. I'm just filling out the sky. Yeah, I uh, hurt my arm <laughs> the other day, but other than that, I'm I'm fine. Um, as soon as I'm healed, I'm gonna go back to playing RL with Thunder and Nick and playing games and stuff. This week might just be a art week, but we'll see. We'll see how my arm feels after today. Hmm. Any suggestions for the shadows? I think maybe I should just make it I think I should just make it the expand the shadows a bit more over here. Oh, uh, Sir Java, did you know? Majava, did you know that there was a, um, there was technically a Good Omens Lockdown special. They posted it on YouTube at the time. Um, it's just an audio track of both, of, a uh, Crawley saying how much he misses Aziraphale, but, like, I think it's really well done. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. If I can trust anyone to expand upon his universe, it's definitely Neil Gaiman. I've oh, got it. I literally just turned on. I literally just turned on the the music, and it's already going into ad break again. I have the worst timing for this.
Yeah. I would play it, but you know, copyright. It was right when the uh, lockdowns first started happening. They should do a they should do a sequel to that when they um when everything goes back to normal like oh they can finally see each other again and so like that I think it would be cool. Music's back. But yeah, I've been, I've just been doing some art and, um, trying to stay positive and stuff like that. I think that's good. Leave that alone. The sky's done. Now we can go back and edit the uh, tree again. add a little bit of moss over here. That's good. It's always good to give things another try.
So yeah, if you feel like you want to give drawing another try, go for it. I know that there were a couple of times where I almost felt like quitting, but I don't feel that way anymore. I mean, I guess sometimes I do, but mostly, mostly those are moments of weakness. Then I realize, you know what? I love what I do and I love how I do it. And I love the people who love me for for how I do it and what I do. You know what I mean? pictures I'm gonna color today but I don't want to get too taxing so I'll probably just do one more after this we'll see yeah that's the hardest part is not being too overcritical I think sometimes I look at a drawing I do and go Man, this is dumb. But I finish it and then I go, you know what? It's not so bad. Like, I was getting frustrated because the coloring for the Fall Guy conch was a bit of a struggle. But as soon as I finished it, I was like, you know what? I like it. You know? Sometimes stepping away from it for a couple of hours and going back to it, I find is good too. Sometimes I look at my artwork and go, wow, this is interesting. But then I go back to it and I go, you know what? I worked hard on this piece. I should pat myself on the back. Pro, what are you chewing on? And you know, coloring or drawing is like a sport, you know? You gotta get your hands and arms used to doing it. And it might be hard at first, but I believe each and every one of you has the ability to be good. You just gotta work hard. Practice every day. Look up tip videos. You know, never know. Even if you just plan on making it a hobby, it's always good to, um... I can't imagine not doing anything else. Heck, I love it so much, I'm doing it right now. Even though I probably shouldn't.
All right. Thank you for stopping by. It was good to have you. I hope to see you next time. Have a good sleep. Loan officers to see Okay, um, so I decided to go with the, um, filled in color one instead of just having the logo be part of the wood, like I thought about doing. And, um, getting close to the end of this particular piece, then I'm going to move on to the next one. See you, Majava. Thank you for stopping by. I hope you continue to watch for more art games and creativity. Oof. More like creativity this week because of reasons. But, uh, don't worry, I have some ideas that we can do. Okay. There's the gear. Go over the plus sign a bit more. Looks a little wonky. There we go. Now for the window, I'm going to have to go with the smaller side. It's like tucked over here.
Wanna say hi to everyone, Pearl? Hi, Pearl. Hi, Pearl. Hi. Hi. Good girl. Good girl. Yeah, good girl. Oh, the baby. somewhere. I think I do. I mean, shouldn't I? If I don't, I'll have to pick another color for the swing. I'm still in the Discord call. There's literally no one in there now. I don't know why. You guys want to talk during the stream? You could go into the Discord. I'm not going to force you if you don't want to, though. Sorry about the blurry cam. I don't know why the camera is so blurry today. There you go. That gives us a better scale. like the last light of the day because you can see the dark with the light so I'd say it's like a mixture of light day and night which is actually kind of a cool idea
from the Are you kidding me? Now to watch a short video, you'll receive 30 minutes of ad-free music. Sorry, guys. I didn't mean to shout like that. I'm just really frustrated with Spotify right now. Seems like they're giving me a million ads per minute. Nope. And there is the treehouse. And ta -da! Okay, we have a couple of options here. Okay, we have a couple of options here. Turn it right there. We have Treehouse, which is done. Got Brian, the Brian man. That's for curls. Can't get enough of his curls. Then we have Spring, which has eggs and some flowers and stuff. This was for um their their third year celebration for streaming. April. My character April from a yearly village or whatever. And then Ladybug. Then this uh, weird tree. This weird house with the umbrella. Still life. Fire crystal. Well, you all know what that one is. I don't have to tell you. Orange, orange. Okay, hold on. Up to you guys. What you want to do. What do you think, Dork? Guys?
Am I alone again? Oh no. What am I gonna say? What am I gonna do? I don't know. We have a couple more sketchbooks if you're not in the mood to see anything from this sketchbook. to color. Sorry for the long wait. Just trying to figure something out. I'm gonna do Ladybug. Why not? So this is based off of her season four costume. It seems to only appear when she's doing her lucky charm. You know, lucky charm! If you haven't seen the show, she has an ability called Lucky Charm. It gives her whatever the frick she wants or needs. Well, she doesn't always get what she wants. Sometimes it's a random object that she has to figure out how to save the day. She goes, what's this? And then she has to figure it out. It's... I think that's the coolest part about her. Is she's very resourceful. She takes one random object... She sees a stick on gum and knows how to defeat the bad guy. <laughs> of course, I have to look up screenshots of the outfit to make sure I'm getting the right colors. Ladybug. Are you guys playing a game or something? Guys, I'm trying to find an image of it. There doesn't seem to be an image anywhere. Oh. A 
Okay. I'm just trying to find... Okay, so... Okay, so I got, I'm slightly off. I thought she had like a new like color for the wrists here, but all she did was get special uh, black at the tip. Her outfit is still red here. My mistake. Oh well. Let's just say I altered the new suit a little bit more. But she's got like red dots here instead of black dots. But the rest are just normal black and... Thank you guys. I just freaked out a lot. I'm, I just want to make sure you guys are still here. It calms me down a bit to know I'm not alone, you know?
Now I hope I have some black pens to fill in her little polka dots. And I think one of the, I think one of the ties was a different color. Look at it again. I turned down the volume so that I don't get copyright claims for like, I don't know. Okay, um, actually no, there's an additional bow in the back. I thought there was new color. It's like this. I don't know why, but I guess the show thought after having three seasons of her shouting Lucky Charm and her outfit not changing, I guess we better change her outfit when she says Lucky Charm, <laughs> I guess. Bugs not Wonder Woman. I'm gonna get copyright claimed by Warner Brothers now. They sang two seconds of that probably. Too far. I think that's good. Why don't I modify the Lucky Charm outfit a little bit? I do like that outfit, the new outfit. Even if it's a slight costume change, I just kind of wish she stuck with the black collar up on top. There you go, that really sticks out. Have you ever seen Ladybug Thunder? I don't know. I think you might like it. It's definitely not a show that... It's definitely not a show that you should binge watch because then it gets a little repetitive. But just like an episode or two a day. That's what I did when I watched it. I was like... Because it's kind of like Code Lyoko, you know? 
it's kind of got a, it's kind of got a, like a reset every episode type deal. I put back the music on now that I've done my research on the outfit. I probably should. Don't worry, I'm gonna put the music back on. Thank you, Thunder. This is Ladybug from the show Miraculous Ladybug. Or Marinette or Bugaboo or whatever you want to call her. She doesn't like being called Bugaboo Boo, but I just find it funny. I'm worried about the... The tie is like close to her hair color, so I'm really worried about screwing up. I might just go over the hair with a colored pencil after I reestablish the lines.
Sorry, I know you guys might be tired of just watching me color. I want to... Let's have a topic. If you want. Hmm, background color, background color. It's gonna be a tough one. What do you think, Dork? What should be the background color? purple. Or pink, that's good.
I'm gonna put on some music because the dogs are snoring. Sorry about that. It's distracting me.
Thank you. 
think that's it for Ladybug over here.
that looks kind of cool, actually. A happy accident, I suppose.
Spider-Man before I do the background color for this. Because I'm afraid I'm going to lose him forever if I don't. before I finish up Spider-Man here. Sorry. It's hard to open this book all the way one-handed. Okay, um... Chocolate cake isn't done, but... Thank you. 
my name is Julie McKenzie, and for the last 13 years, I have been the one and only Fire Crystal. Just kidding. I have done some gaming videos, done some art videos, went through a digital music phase. Just kidding.
like I ran out of black pen, so I'm gonna have to improvise. And usually when I don't have black, I use blue. So blue. of the marker. Bad time to have double-sided pens, I know. Don't worry, I'm gonna rest afterwards, okay? Oh no you're not, we're gonna 
don't watch an episode of Sherlock.
under. I thought you went to sleep or something. everything basically composition is like where you put stuff in a picture such as the border or where spider-man is this is considered good composition because it's he's right in the center he's not off center he's the focal point so he's big you know If I had the choice between poor composition, I'd probably say this, because, like, I would have, looking back on it, I probably would have made the chocolate cake a bit bigger. It's kind of small. I mean, it's small in the, in the reference, but I really made it small. <laughs> Thank you. 
yeah, just these, just like flies. Look out, here comes the spider man. guys this is the last coloring of the night after I fill out the chocolate cake uh, background I wouldn't make you guys well maybe I did make you stay up all night maybe I don't know but as I said I wouldn't make you guys stay up all night watching me color frame brighter but it didn't quite work out so I'm gonna make it purple like the ladybug picture thank you dork I try my best to clean up but I'm not always the best at that But I made sure to start the stream after my hair was washed, was dry. Last time, last week, I started the stream when my hair was still wet. Maybe do something similar to the ladybug picture and do a little hint of pink in the background to brighten it up a little bit. Mm. 
Not yet, what? Oh. Next fine. He can handle it. He's tough. That might be my fault, Thunder. I've been keeping him up a little bit. The only time we ever get to ourselves to watch TV is late at night. So maybe we can skip a day of Sherlock. Maybe. But we've already skipped two days. And... I'm just putting some caps back on some of the pens. Okay. He told me. Yeah. times when towards the end of a stream I'm wide awake as opposed to feeling like I'm the walking dead. As good as time as any to do it. I think I've done all I can.
You're funny too, Thunder. I mean, it was your idea to do the crab rave even during the storms in Fortnite. Or was that Nick's idea? We are both funny. You guys are so humble. <laughs> Get yourself humble mods like these two. I can't, I can't stop when I rod, rave, is that what you said? I'm so funny then, I guess. Yes, you are, Thunder. Accept it. It's a compliment. We are, you guys are the funniest mods I've ever had. Can I say it? <laughs> Then Nick is probably going to point out we are the only mods you've ever had.
<laughs> what can't you say, Thunder? <laughs> no problem, guys. Anytime. Showing some mod love. Gotta love it. You guys, stop it! Let Thunder spam hearts in the chat if she wants to, dork. <laughs> Do I have to... Do I have to time you out? I'm just kidding. <laughs> I wouldn't do that. Where would I? Great. Now I want chocolate cake. This prompt is making me hungry. I'm doing this for an art discord that I'm in. And the prompt was to draw a chocolate cake. Mm. I miss chocolate lava cakes. Those are good. confused. Even the artist is confused. I'm like, what the frick am I doing? I mean, it looks cool, but what am I doing? Oh well. It's a K-pop heart, dork. No, not Thanos snap. <laughs> that is literally not what I saw the first time I saw that emote at all. But now that you mention it... <laughs> I am inevitable. <laughs> the hardest decisions often require the strongest wills. <laughs> Perfectly balanced pearl, as all things should be. head. <laughs> Ouch! <laughs> that hurts right now. <sighs> it's okay. Hold it down. Good girl. I think that's good. I just need to make the frame pop out a bit more and then it's done. Then we find somewhere to raid, I guess. Computing activation. I am. Uh... <laughs> sent by Thunder God. called Thor Sparkle Fingers or Sparkles. Listen here, Sparky. <laughs> Alright. So this is the recap for tonight. In this corner we have the chocolate cake. And in this corner we have the treehouse. Yikes. I will I do like this coloring, but I feel like 
The grass needs more attention. The shading's a bit off. I'm gonna fix that real quick. That's a little bit better. I don't know why the grass is bothering me. Anyway, in this corner we have the treehouse. This one is quite different than my other pieces because this one doesn't have a border. <laughs> I usually put a border around my pieces now. Like this. That's probably going to be less creepy in the coloring. I don't know what something went wrong with the line art there somehow. It's kind of creepy to me. And then in this corner we have Ladybug. The miraculous Ladybug. This actually almost looks like a painting. If I didn't if I wasn't sitting here coloring it, I wouldn't I, I wouldn't have known that I did this with a marker. Jeez. And I think that's it, right? I only did four tonight. Yeah, I think I did. That's it. Stay tuned for the next art stream. Um, obviously it's probably gonna be... This week's probably gonna be an all art night, art week. Um, due to my other arm being out. I can't do Rocket Wednesday. And I wanted to do Ghost, but it looks like I'll be painting something or coloring something this week. I apologize to my gaming fans and to the people who follow both my gaming and art streams. Thank you so much. Until then... Oh yeah, Spider-Man! I forgot about Spider-Man. Thank you, Thunder. Thank you for reminding me. Spider-Man! Hmm. <laughs> And Spider-Man. Anyway, thank you all for the support. Thank you for the subscriptions on YouTube and the follows on Twitch, Twitter, Instagram. Practically everywhere except for TikTok and Snapchat, really. And until then, um, my name is Kirley McKenzie, a.k.a. Barcoast 1 2 Art. I do art and games, usually. And until then, I hope you create and inspire, and uh, I hope that the love you have for your passions never retires. Until then, I'm gonna go lay down and uh, rest my arm, because although it's not completely broken, and I'd say it's more sprained, I can still sort of move it, but I was recommended not to play video games, so. By various people in my life. So, I'm gonna finally listen and not do it. So, thank you all for being patient with me right now. And for liking and commenting on my artwork. It means a lot to me. Even just commenting on the Twitch chat is means a lot to me. Anyway, um, I'll see you guys later. Hopefully we'll do something chill tomorrow as well. This is actually kind of a blessing in disguise, because if you guys know how big my whip, fill t whip pile is, I have like so many things I need to color, so this might knock some stuff off my list. We'll see. And bear with me, I'll be able to play video games again soon. Maybe I'll do an all gaming week once my arm re arm recovers to make up for not being able to play games this week. And until then, like I said, I hope you create and inspire. I am going to go lay down now. Gosh, I just sound like my mom. <laughs> anyway, I'm gonna go lay down now. I hope you create and inspire. See ya. <laughs> oh no, it's the Geico commercials. I'm turning into my parents. Anyway.
See you around. I'm gonna go watch tea or something. And elevate my arm. Kira's Art Jazzy Club has officially closed. Do we have anybody to raid? Is there anybody on? Here, let me check. There should be someone on. But if not, you know, I'll either raid or host. Let's see. Oh, here we go. Yeah, we got a couple of people. Couple of. Do you guys want a gaming stream or an art stream? I know it's art night, but we're pretty much. I'm pretty much gonna be doing art all week this time. Oh, this is hard to do. What? Mitch isn't on. I want more dogs and cats in my life. Oh well. Mitch isn't on today, so let's do something pretty. She's a really cool uh, fantasy artist. She does like dragons and stuff. I'm just hosting her since I don't know how to raid from the phone. And I'm gonna stop streaming. See ya.